I'm gonna get into a lot of trouble uh, doing this video. So I'm gonna kind of talk low. I'm gonna kind of talk low on this video. I'm gonna talk about the witching hour. It's what we call the witching hour. 3 a.m. I'm gonna talk about that. And I might get into a little trouble, so I'm gonna talk low. Why is three o'clock significant as far as being the witching hour? Why is it considered such a significant hour? And why are so many rituals done during the wee hours of the morning at 3 a.m.? Why would one want to do a ritual during this time? Um, it's important to do a ritual at this time, especially during a full moon, because you can access and harness the energies perfectly during 3 a.m. During that in that time period, during that time, because during that time, no matter where you're at in this world at 3 a.m. Usually this is a time of stillness. This is a time where everybody's either sleep. The clubs probably are out. So nobody's really partying. Everybody's either at home screwing each other or whatever they do at three o'clock in the morning. But everybody's in their house and everybody's kind of like still. It's a quiet time for the most part. Very nocturnal time. And in this time, a lot of energies, magical lunar energies are available. And the lunar energy is really key in creating magic. The lunar energy is even more key a lot of times, a lot of times than even the solar energy. And harnessing that lunar energy is best to do that during 3 a.m. During 3 a.m. And you need that lunar energy a lot of times. And you need to harness that and keep that in your aura and bring that into your aura so that when you come into your ritual that you're going to work at 3 o'clock. You have all this energy already uh, locked into your aura. This energy is locked into your aura so that when a being shows up that you're going to do a ritual for or whatever being you're trying to summon. Uh, when the being shows up, you have energy to offer them. You have lunar energy to offer them. And they like lunar energy because it's very magnetic. And they like that magnetic type of energy on the other world. In the other world, they use elements too in the other world. They need certain elements like magnetism and electricity and stuff like that too. So that's why you want to keep the stuff in your aura. And then when you work your magic, you bring it to them from that dimension or whatever. So it's important to do it during this time because nothing is active and this is when the lunar energy is at its height at three o'clock in the morning but it's another key reason why three o'clock in the morning is key and this is the reason why I'm whispering it's an occult secret and it's called melanin it's called melanin and melanin is a key factor in working occult rituals melanin was always a part of occult rituals um, this is why a lot of people get so confused when they read about the Illuminati and reptilians and they think that it's a group of just albinos with blue hair, I mean with blonde hair and blue eyes when they think about the reptilians and they thinking about albinos but they don't realize that mostly it takes a lot of melanin so a lot of the members of the Illuminati are melanated you see, see people don't know that, you don't really know who the real Illuminati is, you're totally gone you think that the Illuminati is just basically some people that are on TV, George Bush and some bankers and stuff like that. And Barack Obama, and these people are Illuminati. You're gone. These are not the Illuminati. The Illuminati are a group of magicians. And a lot of them are immortals. I did a video on the immortals. And a lot of the immortals are melanated. And it takes melanin to work rituals. So when the Illuminati does rituals, they need melanated beings as well. This is why the Illuminati functions off of the rainbow. They don't deal with racism. The, Illuminati, the real Illuminati doesn't. They don't deal with racism, you see, so they function off of the rainbow and they need melanated beings as much as they need beings to have the lack of melanin because the melanin is key in working rituals because it will attract this particular entity even faster because the melatonin is secreted mostly during 3 a.m. During 3 a.m., you can look this up between the hours of 2 and 5 a.m., melatonin is, is secreted at its max. And melatonin is the key ingredient in working occult rituals. You need melanin. You absolutely need melanin to attract certain beings. You need melanin is equal to chaos. And you want to attract those powerful, strong type of beings that are kind of like chaotic, that we would call chaotic, but they, they offer a lot of energy. They can give you a lot of energy even though they're chaotic and strong and you got to like control them. They can offer you a lot of energy to do a lot of work with, but only during the hours of three o'clock in the morning when the melatonin is secreted, can you talk to these type of beings and can you work with these powerful type of beings? These are the type of beings that like kings work with. Um, people that are power hungry, like generals and soldiers and people like gangsters, they work with these type of beings. You know what I'm saying? Like these are the type of powerful entities, people that need power for their their higher life script in the matrix. 
And some people need that, y'all. Some people need that power. So when I offer my information, I offer it biasly. Like regardless of what you're into, I'm basically offering you information to help your situation better. Something that I said, hopefully, will help to make your situation better. And that's what it's all about. It's just making good people better. Uh, men sharpen men as still sharpen still. That's the way it goes. So each one teach one. We have to round each other off and make each other better. So that's what this is all about. But yeah, as far as the melatonin, though, it's deep. It's secreted during 3 a.m. So the melatonin is needed in during rituals. So a lot of times, even when the Illuminati does group rituals, and I know I shouldn't be saying a lot of this, but, you know, um, it's a lot of people out here talking and stuff like that, but you can't really have any fear. So I'm just going to say it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to have any fear. I'm just going to say it because I'm in a no and I'm obligated based on the things that I've studied to share these things with the people or I would be violating my oath that I took with my ancestors to speak the truth. I have to speak the truth. So when you, when you know, you know, and they need melanin. The Illuminati needs melanin even when they work rituals. They have immortal groups that are from like Ethiopia and deep in Africa, deep in the bush that are melanated, that work rituals on their behalf. The Illuminati employs these uh, particular tribes and these particular shamans and they work on their behalf to get things over to the spiritual world to get their uh requests heard in the spiritual world you see like when you have a request and you want a being to help you you have to get that over and get that being's attention and a lot of the really powerful beings are what we call sleeping giants they're sleep meaning that they don't really hear you like you might be trying to get their attention and you might like, oh, I want this power. I want this, this, that, and that. But they just, you just seem not to, you can't get it for some reason. You just seem like you can't get to whatever it is that you want. And you're like, I'm doing the rituals. I'm doing everything right. What's wrong? You know what's wrong? What's wrong is, is that you're not offering, you don't have enough energy. You're not offering this being enough energy to wake the being up. They're sleep. They're lazy. These beings are. They sleep a lot. That's what melatonin makes you do. <laughs> And this is why they respond to melatonin. They need that. So they'll respond to that when it's enough melatonin and enough energy available and enough people requesting that this being help, then the being will wake up because it's so much energy. It's like it's like a bunch of people yelling at a sleeping giant, like, hey, wake up. And one person's voice might be really low and squeaky because the giant is big. So, you know, it can't hear this little voice like a rat or something like a like to a human, a rat's voice is like really low and squeaky and you know you might not be able, it might take you a while to tune into it but if it's a bunch of rats in your house and they're all chirping and making this noise then you'll hear that and that's how it is with the giant the sleeping entity that you're trying to summons to wake him or her up or it up it needs a lot of voices and a lot of energy so that it will wake up and respond and the melanin makes it a lot easier the more melanated beings are uh, partaking in a ritual the better off it'll go and this is not racism. This is not any type of any of that. This was taught by the Theosophical Society. Even this was in secret. Madame Velasky even knew this secret. Who was not even she was a melanin recessive being, but she still talked the truth about melanin. They just coded the information a lot of times and they call melanin like the devil and stuff like that. And Bobby Hemet talks a lot about that. So for those of you that are interested in learning about the devil, really like a lot of stuff about the devil is really talking about melanin. Because melanin is chaos. So a lot of the stronger entities, or what you would call devils, function off of melanin. And this is why a lot of melanated people um, are feared a lot by a lot of people. Like, generally, like, um, some people fear melanated people, even their own people. Like, even other melanated people fear, like, melanated people from the hood. Like, say, for instance, you in the hood, right? And you could be black or white. You're just basically bougie. And you're driving through the hood. And you see... This melanated person, you had a red light, right? This melanated person crossing the street and they dark and kind of look dirty. You know, they melanated and they cross the street. You lock your door, it's like, Doo! you lock your door because you don't want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're scared, basically. And what that is, is you're feeling the energy from the melanin. It kind of scares you because melanin is chaos. So this isn't racism. I'm not telling you to be scared. I'm not telling you not to be scared. I'm explaining to you why you feel this fear. And even black people fear it, feel it too, as well as white people so-called black people so-called white people they both feel this feel feeling of when they're around a melanated person like a fear factor but a respect factor as well and this is why this is why because melanin is chaos melanin is equal to dark matter you don't know what's how it's going to manifest you don't know what's going to happen with melanin like the thing about chaos is it's unpredictable 
chaos is like it's ruled by Uranus, which is the planet of unpredictability. So chaos is like you don't know how it's going to go. You don't know what's going to happen. And that's how it is when you're dealing with a melanated being. And that's why a lot of people are like melanated people are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know what this person is going to do. Melanin makes you radical, makes you eccentric. And it's very much a key ingredient when it comes to getting beings attention. The summoning beings in the occult. 3 a.m. That's the real truth about it. 3 a.m. So I hope this video helped uh, for more enlightening information. I ask that you visit my website at 13signsastrology.com.